you want to chip away the edge so you sort of strengthen it a bit so when you hit it it just doesn't crumble like that there we go nice big flake that went all the way across um, now I flake this side I'm really gonna start to work on this other side now to thin this down let's see what would be the best way to go hit that Yeah, you, you're, you work your way around the stone. Now I've prepared a platform for myself here to hit. And by doing that, strengthen that, and I've got another platform here. I'll use my antler. There we go. You see you can sort of work your way around. prepared platforms all around this thing and really what I need to do is, is thin this thing down. Um, so I'm going to start to remove some very large flakes um, from the nozzle. big one you can see it really thin down this piece almost by a third um, so a couple more of those and we'll be on our way to you know a, a knife like this and this one's not finished yet either but um, this nodule will eventually look something uh, like this when I'm all done but that can take you know, another 40 minutes um, and I do have uh, finished replicas as well that I can show you Do one more big blow here with the, the antler. We'll really try to thin down this square edge. Not as much as I want, we'll do one more here. There we go. So, took off a, a nice large area of this square edge. Um, and so, this is bifacially flaked, it's, it's flaked on two sides. Um, and there's a lot of different styles. There's unifacial flaking. Um, there's uh, actually trifacial flaking where you're making almost triangular pieces. And there's a lot of different tools and techniques you can use uh, to, to flake stone. And we see prehistoric people utilize a number of these techniques. So, there's a nice large flake all the way across. And again, thin down the piece quite a lot. Um, yeah, so you then just keep doing that process for this particular knife technology, um, and eventually you'll get your, your spearhead or knife. <laughs>